hi good day um i've been receiving a lot of um, inquiries about uh, odo hosting as you all know um Udo is a cloud uh, software which you can sign up for license and then with the help of Udo consultants you can move very quickly and then start using the application but well, it gets to a point um, where uh, Udo discuss, uh, discussion goes around the hosting and then some people have question okay if i'm paying for license why do i need to pay for the hosting and in this video i'm going to discuss with you um at what point um hosting is required for your odoo application so thank you so much for those that have been writing in and i'm so happy that i have time to respond right now now so if you look at the odoo system and then you go to the pricing at the pricing you discover that um, there are basically two types two plans that you would like to sign up for now if if you've run a demo for the Odo system working with a consultant or Odo partner and then you are able to look at the Odo functionalities and all the functionalities fit into your workflow and how you work within your organization then you just need to go for um, Odo standard plan which is bill per user per month yeah, but there are some companies that the the odo standard um, plan or odo software the way it's been designed developed doesn't fit into their uh, workflow and then they need to do some customization or there are also some companies that need to integrate the Odoo system to uh, another third party software then you will need to go for the custom plan which is also bill per user per month now you can also see right here that you can host the custom plan on Odoo online which is the Odoo cloud and then Odoo also have its own uh, hosting platform different from the Odoo online which is called the Odoo SH so you are going to have to pay for the license and then also still need to pay for the hosting uh, separately or you can, uh, you can host the Odoo system on your own uh, computer uh, on premise means you can host it in your office people some most people like to host it in their office because they want to have a complete control of their uh, data uh, you know hosting in your office means that you're going to provide all of the hardware all of the facilities you're going to have to set up a server you're going to have to power the server uh, 24 hours you're going to have to provide some a conditioning if the server it's uh, a large server and then also uh, the other reason why people need to go for custom is when you need to do some you know using Odo studio to um, change some few uh, you know structures especially on the form of the Odo interface and the other reason why people need to go for custom is whenever you want to run a multi-company uh, once you are opting in for a multi-company environment you need to go for the custom and then there is what is called external api which i discussed to you about that when you need to integrate the Odoo system with a third-party software 
so let's say you have a finance or a kind of an app running online and then because those apps don't come with accounting don't come with hr you would like to integrate the Odoo system okay so that's uh, the hosting plan so um i have something i've tabulated to discuss this hosting uh, with you now Odoo erp hosting options excluding the license fee you know would provide free hosting for Odoo enterprise so if you are opting for Odoo enterprise you don't have to pay for any hosting but what time uh, or but at what what are the primary reasons for paying for Odoo application hosting that's what I want to discuss with you today um, by the way I didn't mention my name my name is James or James uh, with growth stack I'm the CEO in charge of business process um, I have other CEOs but my main job in the company is to answer questions and then uh, help the customer understand uh, what they expect okay so these are the when you need to modify Odoo software to fit your complex workflow then you need a hosting you need to pay what that means is that once you want to change any line of codings on the Udo system, you will need to have it hosted so they can have access to that script. Right now, when you wish to integrate a third party application with Udo, extend Udo functionalities, maybe um, let's say Udo is providing a single, <coughs> excuse me. Odoo is providing a single or a double approval level for procurement but now you want it to be three approval levels four approval levels so the uh, Odoo partners will have to help you out in then you know developing that part of extending that approval then you need a, a hosting platform there are couple of hosting platforms I'm going to discuss with you then uh, what are the other reasons uh, when you wish to host your data in your own office so you have to provide your server Odoo is not going to provide any server for you or you don't want to host it in your office you want to host it in your own cloud hosting platform or a cloud hosting platform of your choice you decide oh no I don't want to host in the office so that I can be able to connect uh, access the app the Odoo system from anywhere um, then you need a cloud hosting of course your own uh, on-premise server server in your office can also be you know linked to the cloud using a public IP so if you have to host if you have to go for the cloud hosting platform of your choice then you need to pay for that cloud hosting platform so Odoo doesn't have anything to do with that but you take care of all of your scripts or take care of all of the technical uh, requirements of that platform then also when you are using Odoo community you know um, <clears throat> there are two editions of Odoo we have the Odoo enterprise and then the Odoo community so um, Odoo community required hosting then I'm going to also discuss that with you all right note you cannot host the Odoo standard plan what it means is that if you're going for a standard plan then you have to stick to the Odoo online uh, hosting of course you can see the only option available for you is Odoo online so if you're planning to host to do in your uh, in your office which is on premise then this plan is not for you this plan is only for people that are hosting the Odoo online that it's using the Odoo online uh, you know application so if you have any thing to think about uh, outside this then you have to go for the custom plan all right so back to here uh, you cannot host Odoo yet i said that on your own instead you must use the package as it is available on the Odoo online remember you must still pay for Odoo enterprise even if you host it on your own premise that is even if you're hosting or do on your in your office you still need to pay for uh, the license right 
and then people are asking okay if i'm hosting on my own why do i need to pay for the license you know people put it a lot of time to develop this software and then you need to pay for that uh, but if you are not happy uh, paying that means you can also put up your own team with the respect to develop your own ERP system then you don't have to pay for that at all and of course you know Odoo also have Odoo community which you can use so you don't need to pay for license at all all right let's look at the various hosting plan um, now so if you are going for Odoo enterprise of course, I said standard is free hosting. You cannot be hosted outside Udo online. So it's free. You don't have to talk about, discuss anything about hosting. If you are going for Udo standard, you use it the way it is. But the way it is doesn't mean that it cannot be configured to fit the way you work. It can be configured to fit the way you work. So get in touch with GrowthStack um, or any other Udo partners and they can assist you with configuration all right so let's look at the Odoo custom plan and how you would like to host it now this can be hosted on Odoo online which is free you don't have to pay any amount for the hosting it's free uh, once you pay for the license you have access so this is very very good that, but if you need to change anything on the Odoo script, you have to be able to pull that script to somewhere else where you can, where your developer can actually make adjustments to the script. Now, so that's where the Odoo SH comes into play. Now, okay, so um, if you go to Odoo.sh, you will now be able to see that it's a different platform but it's a very powerful platform so it helps you you know adjust the script this is an hosting environment for Odoo you can trust that Odoo will be able to give you what is required and all of the things you need to have to make your development you know successful now there are so many features in the Odoo SH which I will not have time to discuss but you find out that there is a pricing section here that gives you the price that you need to pay for the hosting per month. So the workers here doesn't actually mean users or staff, the workers here means the you know how the system handle request and responds to the request. So if you are using a one worker and you have about uh, 100 users locking at the same time your system will be slow so you have um, you know you need to increase the workouts but this is just the minimum price so storage is here and then you can see whether you want to go for dedicated hosting which is the price is here or you want to go for the shared hosting and then there's a staging environment which is more technical you can see the features here and so odoo.sh is just like other cloud hosting but odoo.sh is designed to host odoo application all right so um when you get back here so i'm giving you an estimate price please these prices are not fixed i'm just giving you an idea of the price that you may have to pay for you know a range of price or average price so if the price is more than this please don't um, hold me accountable if the price is less than this it's also for your own good so for the odoo.sh for the single worker um i just had to add this estimate if you're having one to 60 users and um, the prices you might likely pay will be that naira now you can convert this to dollar if you are not in nigeria or using Nigerian currency, so you see 800,000 per year um, that work out for this, but I think this is actually too small, so you might need to increase the number of workers. Or you're going for 60, 61 to 100 users, you this may likely be the fee, but this is just an average fee for you to work with. So um, there is also private cloud system that you may like to host outside of 
udo.sh you can choose a private cloud there is a cloud system there's amazon web service that's also a, an option that you might want to go for there is a um, you know um, yep digital ocean that's also a good option and there are other good options but remember once you opt in for a private cloud you are going to be having the the cloud providers are the one to provide you support not the Odoo uh, company now but you can, <clears throat> you can always get in touch with uh, you know you know server administrator to assist you out all right so if you are hosting in your own office if you're hosting the Odoo on premise um it's free the free here means that um i don't know what that is going to entail but you the you work you're going to do is to buy the server uh, pay for the installation uh, then maybe hire one or two you know server administrator to help you maintain or you know look help you look at the server at uh, every interval so i'm saying it's free but you know that you have to buy that server yourself in all of this odo uh, enterprise so whatever options you're going for you have to pay for the license please don't forget that part so if you are hosting on premise you pay for the license on cloud or you first need to pay for license so you you pay for the license and you still pay for the Odoo. So this price is not the price for license. Okay, so I just needed to add this uh, Odoo community. Um, the Odoo community, uh, it's free. for So you don't have to pay for license. You don't have to pay for license, but there are some variations. There are different things that... There are so many things you will not find in Udo community, but it's there already for you in the Udo enterprise. So you need to host Udo community on a private cloud or in your office. You you don't need to, uh, you know, this is just the two options available, but you don't need license fee for this. All right, so I think I've been able to clarify this hosting questions. Um, if you have any question for that question, you know, you can always get in touch with us, um, or you just visit our website, growthstack.gs, remember, dot gs, not dot com, or you can write to us support at growthstack.gs, uh, phone number is here, once you call, uh, you have someone available to answer your questions. So thank you very much. Um, I hope to see you, you know, hope to hear from you very soon. Please feel free to uh, like, uh, subscribe to our channel for more answers to more of your questions and like this video so that we know that it's useful for you. Thank you very much.